Hello everyone! Welcome to a quick tutorial to help you plan for, set up, and publish a free one-page portfolio using the platform Wix. I've worked with several different platforms for websites, including WordPress, Squarespace, Cargo Collective, and Behance. While my personal site is hosted on Squarespace, which I think is a great all-around platform, um, they don't have a totally free plan available. Wix is a proven website builder that comes with well-designed, free templates, easy drag and drop editing, and is also completely mobile responsive. If you have all your assets ready to go, you can set up a website in less than an hour. A few things to be aware of. On the free plan in Wix, um, you're going to have a domain which includes wixsite.com. So you're never going to be able to just have your own name or your own uh, company name as a domain. You need to upgrade to a premium plan if you want to connect a custom domain. Also, they're going to display a small banner ad at the top of the screen. Um, I don't have a preview of what that looks like, but you'll see what it looks like once you publish your site. It's not very intrusive, and I think it's a good trade-off for um, a site that's pretty much free and also mobile responsive and well-designed. If you do want to get rid of the ad and add a custom domain, you will have to upgrade your plan to this one, which is the $10 a month plan. But that still compares pretty favorably to other websites. For example, in Squarespace, if you wanted that, you would have to pay $12 a month. And the other website options, which are free, like WordPress, I consider them to not be very good options because you do need kind of some technical know-how in order to get those templates up and running. The first thing to do is to set up an account. You're just gonna click Get Started here. You'll set up your account You'll, you will have to wait for a verification email to come through. So while we're waiting for that, let me give you some tips on preparing your files and assets. So I would recommend keeping a folder organized for your portfolio and website. And I would keep them separate because I think the images that you'll need to use in your portfolio and your website will be a little bit different. So I've set up a folder structure like this and in website you can see I have divided it into assets and text. Within assets I have the four projects that I want to present on my website and then I also have client logos which you're not going to have but I'll show you how to put them on there anyways just in case you have some freelance work that you want to showcase. I also have text which is my um, project description text and this has um, the title, the year, my instructor, and then a project statement for every single one of the projects I want to upload. Um, I also have some general website text, which is my profile statement that I'm going to use on my homepage. So I would encourage you to adapt this from your CV or um, other places where you might have created a bit of a profile or bio statement. It really doesn't need to be long and complicated, just a few sentences saying who you are, what you're interested in, and what this website is all about. So the reason that I keep my files organized like this is because it can be a real pain in the butt to look for assets all over the place if they're in folders all over your computer. So taking some time to organize them into these smaller folders will really make a difference um, as you're going through and creating the website. If I take a look at the file sizes here, um, most of them look pretty good, except for this one, which is really big for some reason. Now, if you have a file that's larger than five megabytes, which this one is, I would recommend that you optimize it in Photoshop first. So um, what I'm going to do here is press C for crop in Photoshop and go up here to width and height times resolution. And I'm just going to set a maximum width of 2000 pixels. Now, most website browsers max out at 1366 pixels. That's the most common browser width. So you're rarely going to need an image larger than that. 2000 pixels gives you a good amount of space to work with. Press enter to crop that down. Then I'm going to go to file, export, and save for web legacy. This brings up a panel where we can see here what the new size of this image is based on the settings in this panel over here. I usually have this set to JPEG high at quality 60. And if you take a look at the image, this is still a really high quality image. 
So I don't think we're going to need um, something more than this. And I'm just going to click Save. Then I'll save it here. And as I said before, I'll just append web to this so that I know it's a web resolution image. These are all now pretty much um, set to go online, but let's just see if we can optimize them a little bit more. This website I mentioned in the other part of the lecture, which is called tinyjpeg.com, you can drag PNG or JPEG files up to five megabytes each here and just see how much you can compress them. So I'm gonna select everything except for that file and drag it into here. You might wonder why bothering optimizing small files even counts, but believe me, every millisecond counts for something in web design. So it doesn't hurt to run through this process. Once all the files are optimized, you can download everything and it's going to send it to this little folder. You can extract the images and I'm going to just copy that whole folder and paste it into the project folder. I'll rename it web resolution images. And now we have files that are optimized for the web. Um, so I have this folder up here called fonts, colors, and branding. Up here, I have a custom font that I want to use. This isn't a Google font. This is just a, another font that I want to use for this website project. So I thought I would use it as an example to show you how you might upload a custom font to Wix. I also have my color palette here just in case I need to refer to it, but I also have that available online here. So I can always go in and grab these codes if I need them. I have a few logo variations. You probably don't have a logo, but if you did, um, I could show you how to upload those to your site. And then I also have uh, headshots here in color and black and white. I don't know which one I will want to use yet, so I just included both. Um, and these ones have been optimized for web already. So now is a good time to check your email and see if you've gotten your account verification message from Wix. Go ahead and do that. And in the next video, we'll start a site, select a template and begin customizing.